In today's video, I'm going to show you a complete beginner's guide of thumbnailcreator.com. I'm going to show you my favorite tips, tricks, and hidden features allowing you to leave this video as a thumbnailcreator.com expert. Let's get started. Now you can head over using the link in the description to thumbnailcreator.com and you'll be able to create stunning YouTube thumbnails using artificial intelligence. You can see here, all you have to do is just type in with natural language what you want to do and it can generate thumbnails for you instantly using AI. And the best part is they have popular templates. So you can easily get started by clicking on a popular template and inputting your image and your face and your ideas. And it's super cool. You just press the magical generate button and it generates thumbnails for you. So all you have to do to get started is click the start free trial button. I already have an account, so I'm going to hit the login button. I'm going to log in with Google and select my email address and log in to everything here. And this is what the dashboard of thumbnailcreator.com looks like. Now you've got a few options here. My favorite section is the popular templates section where you can see various templates that you can immediately get started with and upload to. And then at the top, you've got your quick actions, your AI generate, your thumbnail creator, your style inspiration, and your YouTube extractor. Now, before I get started, I'm going to show you how I uploaded a face. And now that's one of the most important parts of thumbnailcreator.com. Now, in the left corner here, in the left sidebar, there's an option called faces. And I can come over here and see that I made a face. I uploaded a lot of photos of my face and it creates an AI version of me after I've uploaded 10 to 20 photos of my face. Now, all you have to do, and you can do this during your onboarding, there's a new face button. You know, if you don't do it during on onboarding, you can go ahead and press the new face button in the top right. After you click on faces, you can type in your name. So I can type in John Doe, and then you can type in the trigger word. Um, so John Doe, and then you can upload 10 to 20 images of John Joe, John D Joe or dough. You can make sure that they're clear, well lit, different angles, so it can know how to, you know, use AI to make different versions of you with different expressions, consistent persons, and not multiple photos of different people, just one person, and make sure that there's nothing covering on the face, like glasses or hats or anything. And that's how you create a face. Now let me show you the cool thing that you can do with the face. So I'm going to click back on home and go to the thumbnail dashboard. And here we've got this entertainment one, the third option under popular templates. I can click open and editor and they've got this incredible thumbnail that looks amazing. So I can say um, title this thumbnail creator.com. And then I can go ahead and hit apply edit and using natural language it's going to go ahead and process this. So all I had to do was just say, make this title thumbnailcreator.com and it's applying edits to the page here and it uses AI to generate that. It's successfully done and it adds the title thumbnailcreator.com. But say I want to change a new track. I can say change and change new track to magic and then hit apply edit. And it starts to edit the thumbnail one more time here, and we'll be able to have a perfect thumbnail for us. Um, but the best part is when we can add our face in that we just saw, you know, a minute ago, where we added 10 to 20 photos of ourselves. So it's applying your edit um, instructions to the image, and just like that, we've got our generation complete. So it uses space here um, the magic is far away from the m so i'm going to go back to my edit with with ai and say bring the m next to uh, the rest of the word there and i'll go ahead and process that edit and we'll see how this looks so it's applying your edit instructions to the page it processes and just like that it brings the m closer to the rest of the word so we've got magic instead of the previous word that was there. Now I'm going to click on the face option under thumbnail editor. And since I've already added my face, I can use face model and select my face and then click apply face swap. And now it uses AI to swap faces seamlessly. So this is the cool part. I didn't actually have to take a photo for this thumbnail. Since I used the faces and uploaded 10 to 20 photos of myself, it's going to use AI to generate a photo for me using face swap. 
So I don't have to go out and point or um, you know make a certain expression. It just uses AI and it generates an expression for me using face swap, which is super cool. So really excited to try this feature out with performing face swap. So it's processing, it's using AI to swap faces seamlessly. Um, and you know, this does take a little while. Um, so we'll have to be patient with the software as it you know processes. So let's take a look at what it looks like to have something like face swap. So I can come over here and see in this photo, I used my face. I clicked on the third option where it says face and I clicked on Justin and it inputted my face into this thumbnail, which is really cool. I can go back to our home page and scroll down and say view all for recent thumbnails. I can even look at this one right here that I did about a month ago where I use face swap. Like this is not a photo that I took of myself. I used the AI in Thumbnail Creator and it generated this photo of me and it's super cool. So you can use face swap inside of Thumbnail Creator to make incredible looking thumbnails and all you have to do is just tell it to use your face using face swap. So let's take a look at all the templates. I'm going to click view all. I can scroll down. I like this India one where it has the tiger and I can open an editor and then I can come over here and say uh, change India to USA and hit apply edit and it should just like magic apply the text effect background that we currently see using the text that I just provided. So it uses natural language and just like that the generation is complete and we've got USA in the background and all you have to do is just tell it what to do with this section right here that says edit with AI. They even have an auto optimize button which is pretty cool so I'm really fascinated with the technology right here behind thumbnailcreator.com you can go over to home and you can check out any of these projects um, any of these templates that you want to get started with. I did a Marvel one um, where I use face swap for one of the popular templates and just told it to insert Tony Stark and Jarvis and have it a Marvel themed rather than the regular one. We can see this is what the original template looks like um, right here. And I use face swap right there to insert my face, which is super cool. So you can see my face is on this image, but I didn't actually take that photo. It just used face swap to embed the image itself. So super cool that we've got that. I use face swap right here. Um, you can see now, instead of me taking a photo of me pointing, I've got thumbnailcreator.com up there and my face and it used AI to make it look like me. So super cool technology. So this has been a complete beginner's guide of thumbnailcreator.com where you can use AI to generate stunning thumbnails. You can use the link in the description below thumbnailcreator.com to access this and start your free trial today. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like. Let us know what your favorite thumbnailcreator.com feature is in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to figure out when we release our next technology video. We love producing these for you and can't wait to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.